In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today we're looking at the way of John chapter 3. At the end of every chapter, I like to kind of see what's that thing that connects the whole chapter together and kind of pull out the theme, um, discover what is the way in which God is revealing himself. Today we are looking at the chapter that is the encounter with Nicodemus and where John uh, the Baptist exalts the Lord and puts himself down by saying um, he must increase but I must decrease. The whole book of John is is a series of encounters with Christ and each encounter really uh, reveals so much of, of the way. I mean um, the encounter of Nicodemus with with Christ is so foundational for our faith because it reveals it reveals uh, baptism, uh, renewal, uh, new life, um, and so I wanted to call the chapter three the way of chapter three the way of rebirth, the way of rebirth, and and sometimes we kind of skim over uh, those who are believers may skim over the idea of baptism because it, that, that's all it is to them is an idea or maybe for them it's an event that has passed something that is gone uh, they may not even remember it they were probably baptized as infants for example but but when you look at rebirth Rebirth and its potential and its and and what is actually offered to us it is an incredible uh, uh, Opportunity offered to all of humanity uh, Baptism was once explained to me by my spiritual father as as You know baptism being the greatest gift given to us that we spend the rest of our lives unpacking so it is not an event that happened once in baptism where we are reborn of water and spirit, but it is something that has completely and radically changed our lives. And we can spend the rest of our lives um, unpacking this gift. It's like receiving a billion dollar gift. And then, and then what a lot of people do is they say, wow, now I'm rich, now I'm, uh, I'm, I've got it. <laughs> and what they do is, here's the proof. They go and buy a frame and hang the billion dollar check in their hut and continue to live in poverty. This is an icon of, of what often happens with our baptism, our rebirth. We, we hang an icon or we hang a name and say, hey, we're Christian. Whereas what would be real wealth is is to go take that check and cash it in and then withdraw from that billion dollars daily and this is exactly what is offered to us in this rebirth this new creation this second chance this this opportunity to be part of god's family adopted into god's family a completely new creation a new life and so when the Lord says you must be born again, and, or unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He is offering us uh, uh, not a threat, but rather an opportunity. He's saying this is how one can see the kingdom or how one can enter into the kingdom. It is through water and spirit. So I don't know if anyone listening today is contemplating or wondering whether they should receive baptism or not my prayer is that you would see and hear how important and what a great gift it is to be filled and to be to receive the Holy Spirit and how that is something that we spend the rest of our lives discovering what an opportunity what a chance and if you have already been baptized my prayer for you is that you 
you step out of this idea, you know, this world of ideas or events, but rather recognize the magnitude of his love for us, the magnitude of the gift that he has given us his son in order to have his life in us. We see in this chapter this beautiful promise of everlasting life to those who are reborn, to those who believe in Christ, those who see him like as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted. And, and, and in such a way we look at him and we are healed. We are healed. We are, you know, we are made a new creation. What an opportunity. What a gift. And so today, may we cash the check in. May we begin to withdraw from this incredible gift that has been offered to us. And may we live a life that shows that we are truly reborn, that we are recreated, that we are a new creation, and that we don't just hang the name of believer or disciple or Christian, but rather that we are a new creation and how we love one another, how we long to be with Christ in union with him through prayer, through fasting, through prostrations, through the liturgies, through everything that we do. Have a beautiful day.